Christopher, wow. You know, what's been amazing is that any time any young person receives a scholarship of any sort, you know, it's a great achievement for me as a professional athlete and now a professional coach. I know what that means. This young lady has been to every trial and tribulation. And if it wasn't not just for her talent, it was for her, you know, drive, her passion and to accomplish some of the things that she knew was going to be a tough task. Signing a full scholarship, Towson University, Division One school is awesome, right? That's that's for me, it's in the world of college. For me as a pro, it's like a, you know, that's a that's a contract for the next few years. I'm very proud of her. I'm excited for her. But the one thing is that I must say is that the support from her family has been unbelievable. Her mom, her father, is, is, is you know, it's been great. And that's the one, you know, thing that we don't really acknowledge enough or how much parents in Bermuda really kind of give to our young people, especially when we want to drive them and move them forward. Uh, I've seen this young lady grow. I've seen her, you know, go through, you know, her social transitions, her economic transitions. When you look at her growth and realize that a 3.8, yeah, and going through a college that's highly recognized in Baltimore and in the Division One is awesome. You know, so I'm very proud of her. I'm also proud of the work that Bermuda Football Association is doing with young women from the Women's League. You look 10, 15 years ago, there was no women's league right it was always like okay we hope it would happen so it's very important to be acknowledged that and also with with you know one of our coaches uh nikita deal what a great job you know she has a passion for the game she has a passion for young females in bermuda and to be standing there and even being a part of this process of her signing you know it, it felt good to me it felt good because i always told the country in bermuda you must pay attention to the women's sports. It's so important because when you got a lot of single parenting in, in our country, it's, it's, been, it's been a strength. And it's so important that we continue to empower our young women. And so I just want to say congrats to the family. Congrats to the coaches. Congrats to the BFA. Congrats to, you know, her journey. And now it's next. What happens next? So for Nia, I'm very excited. Um, I'm, I'm a little selfish because now you're in Baltimore and I get to kind of uh, support you on this journey. So I want to say uh, all the best to her and all the best to the family on this journey.